So two of the best places to learn web development and programming completely free are the Odin Project and Free Code Camp. Both the Odin Project and Free Code Camp have changed quite a bit since when I first used them when I was learning how to code. In this video, I'm gonna give you my opinion on which one I think would be better for someone who's just getting started or for someone who's already been learning a little bit and wants to continue learning how to code and doesn't wanna spend a bunch of money and wants to learn for free because both the Odin Project and Free Code Camp are free resources that will teach you how to code and get a job. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I always recommend Free Code Camp if you wanna learn web development and wanna learn how to code for free. I think it's one of the better places to learn. I did a lot of their curriculum when I was learning how to code and trying to become a self-taught programmer, but I also did some of the Odin project. The thing is, I learned how to code four years ago, and when I started learning how to code, I started off with a Udemy course that was focused on Ruby on Rails, and at the time, the Odin project was a pretty popular place to learn Ruby on Rails and web development for free because I didn't want to keep focusing on Ruby on Rails. I found Free Code Camp a little bit more appealing to me at the time. It seemed a little bit more beginner friendly. The Odin project does kind of throw you in the deep end right away, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But for me, when I was first learning how to code, I felt like there was enough stuff that I needed to focus on. And Free Code Camp kind of held my hand a little bit more. And after a while, Free Code Camp takes the training wheels off and makes you apply what you've learned through their curriculum by building projects. Both the Odin project and Free Code Camp are project-based learning, which I highly recommend if you're just getting started. Many people get stuck in tutorial hell. You hear that all over the place. You do one tutorial after another, after another, and then you never actually build anything. And then when it comes time to building something, you're completely lost because you've had your hand held by a tutorial the whole time. And then you don't really know how to apply any of the things that you've been learning. So that's one thing that both of these have going for them. They, they are both project-based learning. And when I was starting out, the Odin project didn't offer as much as they do now. And now after having some experience and working as a web developer for the last three years, I decided to go back and look at both of these programs curriculum to make this video. I will never tell you that there's only one place for you to learn. Anyone that does tell you that, you know, don't listen to them. They're completely wrong. You can't get all your information from one place. That's dangerous because you don't necessarily know if they're going to offer you the best program. So comparing the two free code camp and the Odin project now, after I have experience and not being a complete beginner, I kind of have a better idea of how I would recommend the two for someone who was just getting started and wanting to learn how to code. So I started looking through the Web Development 101 and the Odin Project. And one thing that I really liked about the Odin Project back then, and I still like about it now, is that they throw you in the deep end right away. They have you setting up your command line, they have you set up get almost immediately, and they have you set up a local development environment, which is very real to what it's gonna be like for you when you start working as a programmer or a web developer or a software engineer or whatever. You're gonna have to set up a local environment and you're gonna have to use your computer as a local server or just to test out your code and have everything running in your local environment. Free Code Camp, on the other hand, has a integrated text editor and they walk you through more of the problems and they get you coding right away. You don't have to worry about setting up your local environment. You don't have to worry about getting things running on your computer. You can go in there, you can use their integrated text editor and you can start following their curriculum and immediately see results right there on the page, which is great for someone who is a complete beginner and just wants to get some concepts of programming, just wants to understand what HTML and CSS is, just wants to see things happen right away, which is kind of nice when you're first starting out. And anyone who's worked as a programmer knows that getting your local environment setup is a huge pain. It can honestly take a few days to even your first week on the job, you might be setting up your computer that they give you that whole time and trying to get things to run on your local machine, which is completely normal. And I do appreciate that about the Odin project. But if you're an absolute beginner and you're not too tech savvy, this can cause some trouble for you and it could be a little discouraging. It could make you feel like maybe you just don't know enough and maybe this stuff's too hard and it might even make you quit before you even get started. And nobody wants that. So that's where I kind of lean towards free code camp for someone who's an absolute beginner. But with that said, I really like how the Odin project makes it more real world. One thing that I hated about Free Code Camp was a lot of the projects that they have you build, they ask you to do it in CodePen, which I don't like CodePen. Back when I got started, CodePen was really one of the only web-based editors. Now there's so many different online development environments that you can use and throw some code in and see stuff right away that that's way better than CodePen. And I remember having to do the projects that Free Code Camp offered in CodePen drove me nuts. So I went and I 
learned how to set up my local environment and many of the projects that I would do for free code camp, I would run locally on my machine like you're supposed to, like the Odin project sets you up to do. And at this point, I don't know if I learned that stuff through the Odin project when I was learning how to code. That was four years ago, but I did learn how to run things on my computer. And then I would just take everything that I did locally on my computer and dump it into the code pen just so I could submit the URL to free code camp to get the check mark on completing that project. And honestly, that stuff didn't matter. Don't get hung up on trying to get those certificates. Really the value that comes from these project-based learning platforms is the projects that you build. That's what's gonna get you a job. That's what you're gonna be able to talk about in an interview. So don't go through free code camp and just try to you know power through everything just so you can get those certs because I don't really think that they hold much weight in the industry and most people that are gonna see it that are interviewing you aren't really gonna care about them and if you're someone who interviews developers and you care about free code camp certificates let me know in the comments because I honestly have never heard anyone say "Ooh, this guy's got all the free code camp certificates we gotta hire him so just keep that in mind and take those certificates with a grain of salt and going back to what I said before about not focusing on learning everything from just just one place because like I said that's kind of dangerous to do there's so much good information out there there's YouTube there's free code camp there's the Odin project there's courses on Udemy there's all these different platforms that can teach you how to code I've talked about them in other videos but Odin project and free code camp are probably the most popular free platforms to learn how to code on and learn web development on and that's why I wanted to make this video and like I said I, I completed a lot of the free code camp curriculum and I would go back to the Odin project and I would go through some of their stuff and I would do the projects that they had back then the Odin project was a lot different and now the Odin project has a lot more to offer and looking at it from someone who has more experience now I would say get started with free code camp because you can immediately see results right there on your screen and once you get comfortable and once you start building some of the projects on free code camp really consider going through some of the odin projects curriculum just get out there and get started it doesn't matter where you're learning as long as it's project-based learning you're building things all the time and you see yourself improving that's really all that matters set up your github build those projects build your portfolio get all the things you need to get ready to get a job and start applying for work and focus on that if that's what you're trying to do with learning how to code. And don't get hung up on what's the best thing to learn. Honestly, the hardest thing to do is getting started and sticking with it. So just do those things, focus on improving every day. Don't spend hours trying to research where you're gonna learn, just start learning. And if both of these don't appeal to you, that's fine. Watch a YouTube video, buy a Udemy course, join Team Treehouse, join Linda, check out Eggahead.io, check out all these different platforms that I often talk about and reference in many of my videos and just get started. That's really all you gotta do. You're gonna fumble around. You're not gonna know what you're doing. You're gonna feel lost most of the time. But as long as you're progressing every day and getting better, it doesn't matter which platform you decide to choose. I already told you how I feel about Free Code Camp and I've already told you how I feel about the Odin Project. So if you wanna take my advice, start with Free Code Camp, work through some of their curriculum, and when you feel like you've learned enough, go and check out the Odin Project and then start working through some of their curriculum. You'll see that some of the things that they teach you there, you might already have learned, from Free Code Camp, and there's gonna be things that you didn't learn from Free Code Camp that the Odin Project will teach you. And then, once you've learned enough, take the training wheels off, don't focus on going through their curriculum, just go down their projects list and start building stuff. And then once you get to a project that's too difficult and you don't understand, then go back and check the curriculum that is best to help you progress through that next project. YouTube it. Google it. Ask a friend if you have someone that you can ask. Join my Discord server. Ask me. I'm happy to try to help anyone whenever I have any free time. You know, hit me up in the comments if you have a question, if you're stuck, because if you do all these tutorials and you don't build anything, or if the only thing you build is the project that you follow along with on the tutorial that you really don't code yourself and you're pretty much just copying off of a video, that's okay to start, but you want to not do that. You want to to build stuff on your own. And I know the feeling when you're ready to build something and you open up the text editor and you're like, 
and you have a blank screen and a blank file and you don't know what to do even though you've done all these tutorials, even though that you've followed a lot of the curriculum that you're supposed to follow, that's completely normal. It's completely normal to sit there and stare at a blank screen and have no idea what you're supposed to do. It's okay to Google things. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to watch YouTube videos. It's okay to find the answer. It's okay to copy and paste code. All of that stuff is totally normal when you're learning. I copy and paste code all the time. The only difference is now I understand a lot more of what I'm copying and pasting versus when I was first learning, I, I would just copy and paste stuff blindly and not really know what it was doing and I would just throw it in there because I would get stuck on something but it would help me get past what I was stuck on so I would do that. Now before I copy and paste anything, I make sure to read documentation, I make sure to really try to figure out what my problem is. And if I find a solution that someone else has already come up with on Stack Overflow, I make sure that I understand what that's doing before I put it in my code. And I make sure that I really understand the problem after I find the answer to it, because that's what helps you grow as a developer. So regardless of whatever platform you're trying to learn, regardless of if it's free code camp, the Odin project or whatever it is, just stick with it, work through your problems, ask questions, and it, you'll get there. Trust me. And I feel like I've given you enough information on whether or not Free Code Camp or the Odin Project is better. Honestly, they're both really good. Pick one, use it for a little while. If you get bored of it, if you don't like it, try the other one. If you get bored of that one and you don't like it, try something else. Just keep moving in the right direction. That's all you have to do. Nothing's gonna make sense at first and things will start clicking little by little and eventually you'll have your projects built, you'll have a portfolio, you'll start getting job interviews and that's just a process. So trust the process, get out there, start learning, and don't get hung up on too much of the details. And that's honestly the key to becoming a self-taught programmer and a web developer, is just build more and learn less. And just keep at it, that's it. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on tips and tricks and motivation on becoming a self-taught programmer and a web developer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.